So in the previous video, we stopped after deriving the cost function j equals the sum from i equals 1 to the length of our data set of yi minus theta transpose x squared. And we said that the next step is to actually try to minimize this and see what do we come up with. And in order to minimize this, we're going to first have to write this cost function in matrix form. So we need to get rid of this summation and this square, make it only involve vectors and matrices. So then we can find partial j over partial theta and set that to zero. Okay, and in order to do this, put that thing in matrix form, we're going to first define a column vector y. We're just going to have all y's in our data set. So from y1, y2, all the way to yn. Ym, I mean, because you see the length of our data set is m. And also define x. And x is also going to have x1, x2, all the way to xm. Now notice that each x of these is a row vector that has 1, then the first feature, the second feature, all the way to um, the nth feature. And that thing is actually called um, the design matrix. So once we have these two defined, we can write down our cost function as j equals the square of the magnitude of y capital minus um, x as our design matrix theta. And here we know that the square of the magnitude of some scalar q, um, sorry, of some vector q is just q transpose q. So we're going to write down j equals y minus x theta transpose y minus x theta. And now we can try to get partial j over partial theta and set that to zero. So recall from the video of differentiating scalars, because this thing is a scalar with respect to vectors, that the partial derivatives, the partial derivative of q transpose q with respect to some vector theta is 2q transpose partial q over partial theta. So here we're going to have 2y minus x theta transpose multiplied by the partial derivative of y minus x theta with respect to theta. So this is going to give us zero. And we went over this in the previous video. And this is going to give us negative x because x here is not a function in theta and y here is also not a function of theta. Both of these are your data set, just um, a column of constants and here a matrix of constants. So what we have now is 0 equals y. Let me um, try to write a better y. So 0 equals y minus x theta transpose multiplied by negative x. And here, how about taking the transpose of this whole thing and getting rid of the negative? So this means we have 0 equals x transpose multiplied by y minus x theta. And then we're going to introduce x transpose into each of these terms. And I'm going to be using this x from now on. So we're going to have 0 equals x transpose y minus x transpose x theta. Then we're going to take x transpose x theta to this side. So we get x transpose x theta is equal to x transpose y. 
But notice here we can't multiply both sides by x transpose inverse because x is gonna seldom be a square matrix. But we can multiply both sides by x transpose x inverse from the left in order to get theta is equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y. And here this is called the normal equation, which is a closed form solution for the least squares problem. If you have knowledge of your design matrix X and your column vector Y, and both of these um, just correspond to your data set, then you can find the set of thetas that corresponds to the best fitting hyperplane directly from this equation. So this is all I wanted to do in this video. Thank you for watching.